Within a little over two years of coming to power, the government of Andhra Pradesh has revamped a staggering 15,715 government and government-aided schools, effectively giving them a major facelift, giving students the environment they deserve. We get you more in this report. 16th of August 2021 marks the beginning of a new era of public education in the state of Andhra Pradesh. One of CM Jagan Mohan Reddy's most important assurances to over 5 crore people in the state after coming to power with a majority in 2019 was a major overhaul of the government school education system in the state. Within no time, once YSRCP comes to power, our government institutions will be at par with exorbitant private schools in every aspect. Reddy had said during his 3468-kilometer padyatra, which elevated him to par. Government schools in the state were previously known for dilapidated buildings, unhygienic campuses and suffocating classrooms, which resulted in a high dropout rate. Within a little over two years of coming to power, the government of Andhra Pradesh has revamped a staggering 15,715 government and government-aided schools, effectively giving them a major facelift, thereby giving students the environment they deserve by spending a total of nearly 3,700 crores under flagship scheme, Manabadi Nadu Nedu. The government focuses on nine different essentials. As schools reopen for the first time since the COVID-19 outbreak, the Chief Minister dedicated the newly crafted school to students and parents, the most important stakeholders. Government Badalu, Government Hostel, Viti Rupani, Kurtiga Marustauna. Apart from revamping over 45,000 schools in three phases with an expenditure of over 16,000 crores, the government is also distributing education kits with all the essentials like uniforms, belts, socks, and books in order to facilitate the education of kids from the poorest families who would have otherwise opted to employ their children as daily wage labourers due to the cost of the same. Schemes like Jagananna, Gurumuda and Sampurna Poshana cater to the nutritional requirements of students and lactating and pregnant mothers. The midday meal menu is also modified each day as per the advice of the experts. With parents of students overseeing their innovations and the government displaying its will to transform the state's public education system, the state has seen an increase of over 6 lakh students in government institutions and the state administration believes this is just the start to a new era. One that ensures quality education to every child, irrespective of financial or other constraints. Bureau Report, India Today.